Joy. Where's Brad? Oh, no, Joy! Look, see, they what I was trying to give you before, just these batteries. You missed them, Troy. Oh, Troy. I'm sorry, Troy. He was scared before because he did not understand. He thought it was a certain battery. But it's really just batteries. Oh, Troy. Anyways, so today I want to talk about the Amazon rainforest. I'd like to preface this by saying that this is the cat's Cat should have daily pr play sessions, so that's what I'm doing when I'm multitasking and talking about the Amazon and Garner. Joyce, are you interested in this thing? I don't think he's in. He was before. Weird. Anyway, as you might have heard, forest in the Amazon is on fire and been burning at an alarming rate. And a lot of experts agree that these are intentionally caused fires uh, caused by humans for like from like slash and burn farming, deforestation for land. Miners and farmers are also chasing um, indigenous people off of the off of indigenous land and burning reservations and like killing indigenous people as a way to get to like steal more land. The current president is Jair Bolsonaro, and he's been blamed a lot for this um, environmental, like, neglecting the forests. Uh, there's this article that I'll link below where Rubens Recupero, who is a diplomat, a Brazilian diplomat, criticizing Bolsonaro and talking about how he's, like, one of the, one, the most hated um, people most hated world leaders now, more so than like even Trump or Putin or like because of how horribly he's been like neglecting the forest. Mm. Actually, this is a good idea because now I'm distracted by the cat. I'm also um, going to provide a link uh, to help indigenous people in the Amazon and in Brazil because they're on the front lines of protecting the forest and they've been protecting, sorry, they've been protecting what is their home for the longest time and now it's almost like a genocide against them that the forests are being destroyed and deforested for economic gain. Some good news is that recently Mexico had sent some planes um, with water over, and it was raining in the rainforest. One thing that's happening specifically in Russia, in the forests of Siberia, um, I saw in the NASA thing they said there was natural fires. Uh, another big problem is that the government is not helping because, with the reason that um, it's not hurting any settlements or it's not hurting the economy, so the government is not doing anything to control the forest fires or stop them from destroying the forest. And it's been a lot of forests in, like, Siberia, too, have been burning down and are, like, being seriously depleted. So that is a major environmental concern. But let's also get from ways to help. Uh, I found this article from The Cut, Five Ways to Help, and one big one was donate to organizations, and I'll give some links in the description to the organizations that you can donate and that were mentioned in the thing, and a link to the article. The beef industry, the major export of Brazil is beef. And in the article where Rubens Recupero was criticizing Bolsonaro, he said that he thought the only thing that could get him to care about the forest, because it was so like wealth and economic uh, oriented, would be if there was like an economic problem that would happen because of it, like a, like a boycott. And, or uh, he wouldn't listen to like any of the other countries saying, could you please protect the forest so that we don't die? Um, unless there was like a boycott. And, one, and so I guess cattle farms um, is one thing that people have been saying uh, 
It's a reason. It's also a reason that like the forest is being cut down to make room for more cattle farms and more beef farms. So um, you could see if like anything comes from like where what are the where is where are you getting your beef if you eat beef, or you can cut back on beef. That was a suggestion that was in the article and in a couple other places. I also want to point out, please do your own research, because I don't know everything about this issue, and I'm kind of stupid. I mean, I'm not, but it is good to get your own stuff and to see what other people are saying is best to do to help. Because I don't want to, like, hurt anything, hurt any of the situations by giving out bad advice, because there's a lot of history, obviously, and it's a different country that I don't know anything about. I only know a little about, I know what some people have said. I'm going off mostly what people have said and what I've read, but that obviously isn't the whole story. And what I do is suggest that you especially listen to people who are from the place and who are especially listen to indigenous activists and people who are working to conserve the place, the indigenous reservations, and the forest. Because you can do that without hurting the Brazilian economy. That's contrary to what Bolsonaro might say, and what I've heard about him. I've heard he's a climate change denier. Maybe that's not true. This is just what I heard. Brush the kitty. Can you swing me being brush? Yes, smooth out the fur of the mixie when she's purring. Oh, let's see, I need to brush her there. There's also this thing called Protect an Acre, which you can, like, donate to that. I think it's part of the Rainforest Preservation Fund or something, where, like, you can protect an acre of forest by donating. Oh, Mitzi, she has a vet appointment today. And she is a little Lord Kitty. And it's getting harder for her to clean herself. So it's good to decide to brush her. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I'm trying to be gentle. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. I'm swaying. I'm trying to get your chest for Sorry, Mitzi. Am I being too rough? No, you're still purring. And now I have to talk about Ecosia because I looked that up again. Oh. It is a browser and it uses the ad revenue from all the searches done on it to plant trees with the money and it seems to actually be doing that. I downloaded the app and tried it out, and it's kind of like Google, it has an incognito mode, so it's an interesting thing to think about as a solution for the forest fires. 